click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends after understanding the redundancies into the images which are to be reduced to have the achievement of image compression we have this chapter as a fundamental step into the digital image processing so to have achievement of the image compression we have several types of encoding techniques and afterwards we have also seen one of the image compression standard that is jpeg now let us understand the wavelet coding so that we can also understand the jpeg 2000 that is another image compression standard based on to this particular coding type so let us see the details so here we can begin with our topic that is wavelet coding wavelet coding is actually based on the idea that the coefficients of the transform that decorrelates the pixels of an image can be coded more efficiently than the original pixels themselves basically the wavelet family and the fourier family we have already compared in the chapter number 3 where the title it was image transforms we know the basic differences with respect to the basis vectors with which the reconstruction is made possible in both of these mathematical tools so we proceed if the transforms basis function pack most of the important visual information into a small number of coefficients the remaining coefficients can be quantized coarsely or truncated to zero with little image distortion this property is also called as the energy compaction property we have also discussed the energy compaction with respect to the kl transform the dct that is discrete cosine transform earlier with the discrete fourier transform and let us have the wavelet type of coding also let us visualize a figure that shows a typical wavelet coding system so the figure has two parts we can say the first three blocks on to the upper side forms the figure a right from input image to the compressed image the latter half that is the block diagram extending from obtaining the compressed image to that of the decompressed image that is part b figure b here so figure a has input image provided to first of all application of the wavelet transform so upon calculation of the wavelet coefficients in this particular block further there it is a quantization process and then after quantization the exact coding with the help of symbol encoder can be done so that we can obtain the compressed image so such an compressed image if it is needed to be reconstructed so then we shall have the application of this compressed image through the symbol decoder the coding can be decoded and then the application of the inverse type of the wavelet transform must be there to obtain the decompressed image we expect the input image and the decompressed image to be more identical to each other with respect to the other coding techniques now to encode a 2 to the power j by 2 to the power j image and analyzing wavelet that is always wavelet function is represented by the psi here and the scaling function is represented by phi so an analyzing wavelet and a minimum decomposition level j minus p are selected and used to compute the image discrete wavelet transform abbreviated as dwt if the wavelet has a complementary scaling function phi as said the fast wavelet transform can be used so fast wavelet transform also we have covered with the chapter wavelets and multi resolution processing where we have abbreviated is as the fwt that is efficient with respect to the computation speed in either the case either we go for simply the dwt or the fwt the computed transform converts a large portion of the original image to the four parts that is here we have first of all the horizontal then the vertical and the diagonal decomposition coefficients with zero mean and then laplacian like distributions since many of the computed coefficients carry little visual information they can be quantized and coded to minimize the inter coefficient and coding redundancy 
Moreover, the quantization can be adapted to exploit any positional correlation across the P decomposition levels. The principal difference between the wavelet based system and the transform coding system is the omission of the transform coders sub image processing stages that we have seen into the earlier topic. Because of the reason that the wavelet transforms are both computationally efficient and inherently local subdivision of the original image is unnecessary. Now let us visualize one of the example with respect to the wavelet type of coding. So we have a figure for this case that shows a two wavelet based approximations of the monochrome image. Figure A that is the first part was reconstructed from the encoding that compressed the original image by 34 is to 1 whereas figure B was generated from a 67 is to 1 type of encoding. So here we have the wavelet coding results comparable to the transform based results. So here we have part A and B as discussed and then C and D and E and F are also there. The wavelet coding results with a compression ratio of 108 to 1 and also 167 to 1 is also available with us for the same original image. So this is for the left column and right column we can say. So in this example a visual comparison reveals a noticeable decrease of error into the wavelet coding result. Besides decreasing the reconstruction error for a given level of compression, the wavelet coding dramatically increases the image quality. The blocking artifact that dominated the corresponding transformed base result is no longer present in this case. To conclude the discussion of wavelet coding of wavelet based compression, let us take a brief overview of the major factors that influence that is the coding complexity we have the performance and reconstruction error. So now let us address the point wavelet selection for this type of coding. The wavelets chosen as the basis of the forward and the inverse transforms affect all aspects of the wavelet coding system design and performance. They impact directly the computational complexity of the transforms and less directly the system's ability to compress and reconstruct images of the acceptable error. When the transforming wavelet has a companion scaling function, the transformation can be implemented as a sequence of digital filtering operations with the number of filter taps equal to the number of non-zero wavelet and scaling vector coefficients. The ability of the wavelet to pack information into a small number of transform coefficients determines its compression and reconstruction performance. The most widely used expansion functions for wavelet based compression are Dovage's wavelets and the biorthogonal wavelets. These two wavelets we have covered in the chapter wavelets and multi resolution expansion multi resolution processing we have seen after the color image processing. The latter that is the bioorthogonal wavelets allow useful analysis properties like the number of zero moments to be incorporated into the decomposition filters while the important synthesis procedures are also there like the smoothness of reconstruction are built into the reconstruction filters. Now let us take the example with respect to the selection of a specific wavelet. Here the figure contains the four discrete wavelet transforms of the image under consideration that is having woman into that image. So let us visualize this particular figure. So here we have the part A of the figure. So part A of the figure the decompositions are also shown. The four quadrants initially we have again the first quadrant is subdivided to have further decompositions. So this is figure A, this is figure B, this is figure C and here we have the figure D here. The figure A is representing the wavelet transforms with respect to the hard type of wavelets. Figure B represents the wavelet transform with respect to the Dobachis type of wavelet, the second type. The figure C represents the wavelet transform with respect to the simlets and the last one is the wavelet transform with respect to the Cohen, Dobachis and Fewerwave 
by orthogonal types of wavelets here. Now let us address the decomposition label selection. Another factor affecting the wavelet coding computational complexity and reconstruction error is the number of transformed decomposition labels. Hence we have taken the topic decomposition label selection. Since a P scale fast wavelet transform involves P filter bank iterations, the number of operations in the computation of the forward and inverse transform increases with the number of decomposition labels also. Moreover, quantizing the increasingly lower scale coefficients that result with more decomposition levels impacts increasingly larger areas of the reconstructed image. In many applications like searching image databases or transmitting images for progressive reconstruction, the resolution of the stored or the transmitted images and the scale of the lower useful approximations normally determine the number of transformation levels. So let us see an example with respect to the decomposition level selection where we have a table that illustrates the effect of decomposition level selection on the coding with a fixed global threshold of the value 25. So this is our table where we have the first column named as scales and filter bank iterations having the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the corresponding rows. The second column represents us the approximation coefficient image. So for the first one, we have the 256 by 256, then 128 by 128, 64 by 64, 32 by 32, 16 by 16. Next, the third column represents the truncated coefficients in the percentage 75%, 93%, 97%, 98% in the last two entries we have. And finally, we have the reconstruction error in terms of RMS 1.93, 2.69, 3.12, 3.25, 3.27 are the values corresponding to these scales and filter bank iterations. Now let us address the last point with respect to this particular topic and the point is quantizer design. The largest factor affecting the wavelet coding compression and reconstruction error is the coefficient quantization. Although the most widely used quantizers are uniform, the effectiveness of the quantization can be improved significantly by first of all introducing an enlarged quantization interval around zero. This is called as actually the dead zone or we can go for the second one that is adapting the size of the quantization interval from scale to scale. In either of these two cases, the selected quantization intervals must be transmitted to the decoder with the encoded image bit stream. The intervals themselves may be determined heuristically or computed automatically based on the image being compressed. So let us take the example with respect to the quantizer design where a figure illustrates the impact of dead zone interval size onto the percentage of the truncated detail coefficients for a three scale by orthogonal wavelet based encoding of the woman in the image under consideration. So let us see the impact of dead zone interval selection on the wavelet coding. Having this graph, having the horizontal axis, dead zone threshold represented here, whereas the coefficient truncation in percentage right from 0% to the 100% can be plotted onto the vertical axis. So this is the curve here. So this is the particular marking of 97.92% approximated to 98%. So this is the marking here uh, corresponding to these particular threshold values. So I suppose the topic is understood to you people. Based on the understanding of the wavelet coding that we covered in this video, we are going to cover the next topic for the image comparison standard that is JPEG 2000. So if you have to like more information for the subject digital image processing, the more practical demonstration using the MATLAB software and the practice of miscellaneous problems, you can subscribe to EKDA channel.